Shailesh from Bangalore. Today I would like to talk on a very interesting topic and a very important topic that is called amblyopia. Amblyopia are commonly termed as a lazy eye and it is seen commonly in children and it is one of the common cause of a preventable blindness in children and it is increasing more and more because of the refractive error and other conditions. So now what exactly is amblyopia? See, amblyopia is a condition wherein the visual stimulus coming from the eye reaches the nerve. But there is a problem in the nerve where the signal doesn't go properly to the brain and the brain does not recognize the visual stimulus and the eye becomes lazy. So what are the causes and who all uh, gets this amblyopia or lazy eye? This is commonly seen in children who does not wear glasses or who does not come for a checkup and they have a high refractive error or high myopia or hypermetropia that is one condition. Second is those who have what squint or what you call as uh, strabismus or you know, crossed eyes and one eye is straight and another eye is crossed. So in those conditions the signal does not go reach the nerve and then the brain. So in those conditions also the eye goes in for laziness. And the third and other issues uh, where we can see amblyopia is uh, the patients who where is the sig visual signals coming from the cornea reaches the lens and then reaches the optic nerve. In this pathway, if there is any problem in this pathway, like there is any corneal opacity, uh, that is a scar or anything, and if there is any trauma or injury to the eye in the childhood, and if there is any problem in the lens, uh, the crystalline lens, it is seen in the congenital cataracts or the cataracts occurring in a very young children. So there also the light does not enter inside the eye. And then there is any problem with the optic nerve or any problem with the vitreous cavity. So anywhere in this uh, line of uh, vision, if there is any blockade to the light, then the visual stimulus of light does not reach the eye and the patient or the child should not see. When the light does not enter, if the image is not clear on the retina, then the brain perceives it is in a blurred fashion. And then the network happens in the brain accordingly and the patient will see that as a blurred image. And that will remain forever until we intervene. So here comes the problem. Right? If you don't get treated then the child's or the person's image will remain blurred and the vision will be subnormal and that is called amblyopia or lazy eye. Now how do you overcome the laziness? Any laziness can be overcome by activity. So we have to clear those uh, visual pathway or the obstacles in the pathway. Like we have to treat the corneal problem, make the light to go inside or treat the cataract or anything and or treat the refractor or the glass number what the child has. So that has to be corrected by glasses. So we have to reach the hospital and get the number checked and then give appropriate glass so the signal and the clear and sharp image falls on the retina and further it carries to the nerve and then the brain and the brain will recognize that clear signal and there is some delay in the person or the child having this clear image and then perceived by the brain as a clear image so that period is called plastic period and this plastic period is commonly seen uh, up to 7 to 10 years that means the brain keeps molding and the signals keeps on being getting processed and during that period if you intervene and make the eye see clearly then the brain also perceives the image clearly and then you have a very normal vision. So we have to intervene at the right time before 10 years most optimum and how do we do this? So we have to have, there is, actually there is no symptoms we can ask is there any symptom for amblyopia? Many children we see or they go to adulthood they come with their own checkup and they go for any licensing or something then when they close one eye the other eye is uh, having very less vision because they will be seeing with both eyes and one eye is weak another eye is normal so they will be using the normal eye. So what happens in amblyopia is a weaker eye, suppose if left eye is the weaker eye, the right eye will be dominating, it, this will be seen and the improvement in the vision keeps happening in the right eye and the left eye keeps on having a subnormal vision because there is no stimulus from this eye to the brain and that is where we have to intervene and make this eye to see more and we should uh, just temporarily block the right eye or the normal eye and allow the weaker eye or the amblyopic eye to see more, that is the bottom line of treatment. So in treatment part, we have to uh, first get have eye checkup properly in the eye doctor in the eye hospital, and where they will have a detailed checkup of his eye pressure, the coordinate status, the refractor, or the number status, and the media any opacity in the line of uh, vision. So once we see this and accordingly we will treat. So treatment should begin much early age. So if there is any squint, like I will show you in these images. So if the child will have a squint here, the eyes are crossed. So the crossed eye will not be seeing the image properly. So the vision in this eye will always remain subnormal. Once we treat by surgical options or any optical uh, corrections, the eye becomes straight. Once the eye becomes straight, the both the eyes will carry an equal signal and the brain recognizes that and then the development happens. So the amblyopia can be minimized or reduced. Now how do we treat this amblyopia? 
the first is a proper checkup correcting the refractor or correcting the any disease which is blocking the uh, light entering the eye then many times the eye is already being dominated by the normal eye like in this case you can see this is a normal eye and this is the amblyopic eye which is being patched this is a patch called as uh, a white, white sticker or a brown sticker they are available there are very typical stickers available on the glasses itself where the normal eye is being blocked so this here this normal eye is blocked and the abnormal eye or the amblyopic eye or the lazy eye is being made to see made to put to exercise and the child is forced to see through this abnormal eye so that the signal goes to the brain and then the neuronal or network corrections happen and the vision improves so this is the main uh, treatment that is uh, being done for the children in amblyopia patients like proper optical or glass correction then doing patching for different hours the doctor will tell you and there are other treatment options are also available and uh, these options are like using uh, computerized based exercises or doing computer based stretching exercises or on the physical exercises and nowadays wonderful exercises have come on the uh, internet those can be used under the supervision of your eye doctor and that will also help to improve the vision uh, the, then when we have this proper correction then the child can have a normal eyesight now if you cross certain age limit like 10 years 15 years without correcting your uh, visual uh, uh, refract mirror then the child will end up in amblyopia where it becomes difficult to treat beyond certain age so optimally we should all children so how do you prevent basically the the things boss terms to how do you prevent this laziness so you can prevent this laziness by having a eye checkup at a proper age like at the fourth year or so during the early childhood and then those who enter the school or if the child keeps on tripping or if he feels cross eye or some any opacity in the eye is feel then quickly come and shoot the eye doctor where he will be the child will be properly evaluated and appropriate treatment is given so have a proper regular checkup because if a normal eye you know, one normal eye is there then the another amblyopic eye is there child can uh, person can manage his life easily so we have to always uh, have both eyes equal vision so that the dominance of one eye or the other eye should be avoided and the amblyopia setting in can be minimized so have a right examination at the right time or before uh, about 4 to 6 years of age school going age then in regularly or once in 2 years or so depending on the nature of uh, um, refractory we have to follow up once you have the follow up then glass will be prescribed if it is there then a patching or a computer based exercise can be suggested to overcome the amblyopia then in certain stages like a squint and all we have to correct it by surgical options so with all these uh, para- things we can always overcome amblyopia and the child can have a normal vision and the main thing is that you should enter into the plastic period or go early and get your eyes checked and get it treated early so that this laziness or amblyopia can be prevented